I want to share my impression on Cloud Pack for Security on a demonstration that was m made available by my friend Mark Newman. We are going to be able to analyze all the different components. And this is a vision of what IBM thinks of the future of its security group. How Curator and Guardian and all the pieces will be evolving through this cloud pack. And in my impression, and you will see why, I think it is a pretty good vision. But let's actually, uh, let's actually share with you the how will be the investigation and the resolution, because this is not just about detecting things, which Curator does very well, but how do you go about fixing the problem, dealing with a, with a particular case, the SOAR component, not just the SIM component, the SIEM, but the S-O-R-A-R component as well. And there are shorter videos that talk, for example, about threat investigation and the playbook designer that are part of this series. So let me actually get started. When I take a look at this main dashboard, you know, as a as a sort analyst, uh, SOC person, I can see different things like you know how my how the cases that are people are doing or incident, how are they are they being dealt with, how many do I have, uh, how much time people are taking into it, uh, the log sources type, and, and so, and we see here the UBA aspect of it. Uh, that we have risky users, S you know, this is information the, from the UBA perspective, but uh, we are not, we are not going to be actually l ever getting into Curator in here. All the data has been fed from Curator, and it could be not just Curator, but it can be other SIEMs uh, as well. That's IBM's vision for the on Cloud Pack for security. So let's actually drill down on this user D. This is Dave, uh, who is being deemed a risky user. And as we can see, Dave was actually deemed risky and he was actually performing in, in a normal way. And then we got some increase on the actual uh, risk and use cases. And we're going to be looking at this in more detail. But notice that a case we're going to be pivoting into it by just clicking in here, has been automatically opened by the fact that he surpassed a threshold on risk. And we can see the type of things that he actually has been doing. And some things happen on cloud instances on AWS, and some things happen on, on a mail server. So this guy uh, is uh, most likely this is a phishing scenario, but we're going to be discovering all that as we go along. We click here on these use cases, we can see that there's a geography change, users access access from a restricted location, so places we don't do business with and they have been uh, logging and they're logging from different locations. So we can actually see this in, and we can actually see what was reported in this particular case from Curator and we see that this guy has been actually logging in from from Russia and you know we don't do business with Russia so probably he has been fished and his credential has been stolen we could even click in here and see the the, the, the full details on the log should we want it to so let's actually go into the case uh, that has out been automatically open for this by clicking here and in this view we can see that there have been some uh, playbooks that are actually running and these are the ones that define the sequence of actions that are going to be taking place to resolve this issue and we can actually see those you know uh, this is uh, creating a ticket with service now uh, my email thread and I actually went into more details on these in a separate video on the playbook designer which is a new way of easily creating and those place but let's actually see the task that are going to be performed some of them manually some of them automatically as a consequence of those playbooks actually running let's click on the task and the first task that runs and part of those of that playbook is actually going to the new component of cp4s glow the threat investigator to review the attack graph let's actually go there 
we click on that link, we see that we get the disclaimer that this stuff is kind of new. Again, this is uh, the vision, and not all the pieces are the here uh, yet, and they will keep on evolving. So, and this is the one from today, from that particular offense that we actually opened. So, let's uh, click in it to see the details of it. We can see the details in here. There's the score, and, and there's a separate video that talks about this and compares it with the advisor in Curator because it's a similar technology uh, using here. We can see the details on the attack graph and, you know, from the MITRE pers with the MITRE nomenclature, the sequence of actions that took place. Pretty, pretty, pretty nice uh, view, I would say. Once that task is completed, the other tasks uh, continue, and these are, they are you know, there are playbooks that basically this is going to query Curator to see which are the users that were also p compromised as part of this uh, phishing can campaign and have those uh, users being uh, disconnected. This one checks on the headers and of the email message to see, you know, uh, make sure that we can actually delete it's actually complete that the, this task. Uh, we, we can actually click in here and see the details of it. Okay, so and again, this can be performed manually or automatically. I'm doing it here manually. I'm completing uh, that uh, task. We actually go back here. Same thing with the analyze headers of suspected email messages. And this in, in, in involves calling into Office 365 mail to retrieve the actual pieces of mail because from Curator all we got was uh, just the logs that indicates the action but not the actual. And we can actually see that, you know, uh, the in the response section of the action it's uh, opening a ServiceNow ticket to re-image the box of uh, user D or Dan uh, because his machine has actually been uh, compromised. One more action that the playbooks actually call for is to go in and check with Risk Manager to see whether actual information was actually exfiltrated or not. One thing that the case has been accumulating are all the artifacts that actually are used by that threat investigator to see whether any one of these are malicious and what the toxicity of these things are, what recommendations, and we can actually see all those artifacts uh, in here. So in short, this is a good vision on how you can get on a single view uh, you know, all the data from the, you know, things that called your attention. In this particular case, the, the stuff was initialized by the fact that it was a risky user, Mr. D. And, and that's how we went into the case and we actually performed the resolution all in a single screen. And we can check, you know, the, the, in conjunction with Guardium, the, the, the databases information. And in this particular case, can we see whether there was a policy violation uh, that actually uh, triggered and prevented the information from going out from Data Explorer in case that you want to uh, do a federated search and search, you know, for the same IOCs that are in those artifacts into different components. There might be another SIM, there might be an elastic uh, 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 data lake that you want to check uh, information into. And in Threat Intelligence Insight, and I did a video on this one, uh, for where you see the most uh, relevant threats that are actually happening and you can go from here similarly to what we do in Curator and, and you can actually query from the IOCs that are in here the, rel the different system, particularly the SIMs that you have to see whether there are indications that any one of these attacks are actually uh, taken place. So overall I think this is a very good vision is a cloud native application and as this uh, vision sees uh, the uh, complete the implementation of the different component I think it's going to be a nice evolution of, uh, of a great tool that uh, both uh, SIM people as well as uh, SOAR people will like to 
have uh, at their disposal.